and needs all the help he can get. I'm going to give you a stronger prescription. Only take one of these an hour before the meeting. You don't want to pass out. Let's get this party rolling. Uh, bring some Cristal. I'm very good at reading what's in a person's eyes. What do they say? They say you're sleepy. Where have you got that weird sleeping disease? Narco sleepy. But he sees the light at the end of the tunnel when he meets Sandra Bullock. Somebody up there likes me. She's great. She took me out on a date last night. I don't know, for the first time in months. <laughs> I had fun. Hello. Yes. Hello. For the Weekend Report, I'm Lynn Vogt, Dateline 29 News. You go see Scream, I'll maybe go check see that, that one. one. Oh, okay, pretty. sounds good. Well, as the entertainment world gets ready for the Oscars, some of last year's box office bombs are getting their own recognition. Last summer's Wild Wild West leads the Golden Raspberry Award nominees this year. The awards are given to the worst films in Hollywood. Will Smith also won the dubious nomination for Worst Actor, something he shares with Kevin Costner mm -hmm. and Robin Williams for their oh, summer movies, which is really too bad because I like all of them. <laughs> oh, well. That wraps up another week of Live at Five. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to keep it right here for Dateline 29 News at 6. A domestic dispute in Warren County that turned fatal leads to the Shenandoah Valley. Central Virginia lawmakers talk about the loss of a mainstay of the area Republican Party. And the bill requiring voters to show identification when they go to the polls lands on Governor Gilmore's desk. The news starts now. This is Dateline 29 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Dave Cup. And I'm Stacy Horst. A murder investigation in Warren County leads deputies to a suspect in the town of Bridgewater. The 38-year-old Levita Cup faces a first-degree murder charge. She is accused of fatally shooting a woman who was apparently her ex-lover. Ken Slack joins us from our Shenandoah Valley newsroom with the latest on this. Ken, what do we know right now? Well, according to the Warren County Sheriff's Department, Dave, Tracy Washbourne Bass was shot to death inside her home on January 20th. Investigators, assisted by Bridgewater Police, arrested Levita Cup yesterday on a first-degree murder charge. Investigators say they found a letter at the victim's home that identified Cup as her former lover. Warren County investigators made two trips to Cup's apartment on Weeping Willow Lane in Bridgewater, first to execute a search warrant, then to make an arrest. The Warren County Sheriff's Office investigators contacted uh, us that they had an arrest warrant for the subject at, at that address. Um, they contacted us. Uh, we went, basically, we just assisted them. Um, we actually made the arrest for them because it was in our jurisdiction. Court documents show investigators seized nothing from their search of Cup's car and apartment, but according to those same court papers, a friend of the victim reported speaking on the telephone with Bass just before her death. The victim allegedly said Cup had just arrived at her home and was, quote, banging on the door. Cup is being held in the Shenandoah County Jail. Dave? All right, Ken Slack, thank you. A Waynesboro man arrested after a five-hour standoff with police will remain behind bars. 44-year-old Michael Kaysen faces a felony charge of shooting in an occupied dwelling. Kaysen allegedly fired several shots Sunday morning at his Waynesboro home. A family member escaped without harm, and SWAT teams later convinced Kaysen to leave the house. Kaysen was ordered held without bond yesterday after authorities charged him with a probation violation. He was convicted of felonious assault in 1996 and was placed on probation for 10 years. An elderly Greene County man died yesterday after being hospitalized for injuries he sustained in a house fire. Henry Dickerson died at the University of Virginia Hospital yesterday afternoon. Greene County Sheriff's deputies pulled Dickerson from this house fire on January 27th. Officials say the blaze broke out in the kitchen. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined. The Greene County Sheriff's Department is asking for your help in another house fire investigation. Owners of this home found a bundle of guns wrapped in a plastic bag after the January 7th fire. Investigators say the bundle was hidden away from the house when it burned. The plastic itself was used to wrap guns that were in the house and also that that plastic will be sent to the lab for analysis of fingerprints. The Greene County family was left homeless after the fire burned their 150-year-old farmhouse to the ground. If you have any information about the fire or the white plastic bag with Christmas decorations, please call the Greene County Sheriff's Office at the number on your screen. That number is 804-985-2222. For every crime that's committed, police have to register evidence, sometimes dozens of pieces of it. And after more than a decade of criminal investigations, Albemarle County's police evidence room is bursting at the seams. As Amanda Hall shows us, police are getting room to move. 
Well, it's very cramped. It's difficult to move around. You know, having to move, you know, sometimes upwards to 10 items off of the shelf to get to the item in the back of the shelf can take some time. Albemarle's police evidence space is going from this to this, about a 400% jump. Like the swelling Albemarle population, police are outgrowing their space. Uh, we've gone literally from around 1,500 piece of evidence, pieces of evidence five to seven years ago to about 4,500 pieces of evidence that we're dealing with right now. And each piece has to be hand-entered into a new computer database. This new computer system doesn't just store information, it can also help solve cases. That's because it instantly cross-references evidence from Albemarle County with criminal cases in Charlottesville and even at the University of Virginia. This new space will also have state-of-the-art security, cameras, and evidence processing. But it's not forever. Our population has increased, and it is slated to increase uh, just as much in the future. I can't think that anyone would say that this is a permanent uh, solution, uh, not with the current growth. Another new facility could be just five years away. In Albemarle County, Amanda Hall, Dateline 29 News. And police hope to have those new evidence rooms up and running by mid-May. Uh, politicians in Central Virginia are mourning the loss of a longtime colleague and friend today. Colonel Carol B. Smith, seen here with Governor George Allen, led the area's Republican Party for more than 20 years. Today, politicians from both parties said he will be sorely missed. Uh, bedrock of Republican politics in Charlottesville, to be certain, uh, but respected in a much broader sense uh, across party lines. Uh, he's just the kind of person that you, you meet him, you just like the guy, and uh, you look to him for advice, and you can always count on him to be there when you need him. He's irreplaceable. He's the kind that is irreplaceable. It's, a, it's an error that goes out the window. Smith died Thursday morning at the age of 83. Legislation requiring voter identification at the polls is now headed to the desk of Governor Jim Gilmore for his signature. The measure was approved on the floor of the House of Delegates. That, in spite of the objections of Democrats who say it's unnecessary and say it harkens back to the Jim Crow now, era. Now those days may be gone by. The effects, the effects from those actions still linger on today. It is nothing wrong or offensive about having to show your ID in order to vote. What is offensive, it is to suggest that all black people are offended by this measure, which is not the case. An identical measure passed the state Senate earlier this week. Governor Gilmore is expected to sign it into law. A controversial piece of abortion legislation has survived its first legislative hurdle. Mr. The Chairman, informed consent out, measure was approved by a House of Delegates committee controlled by Republicans, a move that disappointed those who came to speak against it. Since minds are made up, minds are set, that's kind of discouraging to hear, but I sense that. So we think there are actually uh, two lives involved, and uh, many of us don't uh, see why we can't love both of those lives, both the woman and the child that's involved. And if imposing a 24-hour period gives some right to life for uh, the children who are involved in these abortion procedures, we think that's a prudent step for government to take. The bill requires doctors to tell women of the potential problems an abortion may cause, and women must wait 24 hours before undergoing the procedure. Nelson County's Democratic chairman is entering the race for Virgil Goode's 5th District seat. Alan Hale is the second Democrat to announce that he will run for that seat. Goode was a Democrat until last week when he announced he would seek re-election as an independent. Earlier this week, John Boyd, president of the Black Farmers Association, announced that he would run for the seat. And more legal wrangling has surfaced for one woman whose baby was, was switched at birth at the University of Virginia Medical Center. Published reports say Paula Johnson is trying to combine two multi-million dollar lawsuits she's filed in the case. She's suing the University of Virginia and a company that made the ID bands used in the 1995 incident. You'll remember that Johnson's biological daughter, Rebecca Chittam, was switched at birth with Callie Conley in the summer of 1995. Well, some folks in the NBC 29 viewing area saw snow showers today. Well, Robert's in the Weather Center with a look at what we'll be seeing over the weekend. Well, every time you see snow showers, your question probably is, am I going to see any more tomorrow? What's my day like for tomorrow? Well, it looks like we're in for a decent weekend. I'll have all the details for you when Dateline 29 News at 6 continues. Dear Mr. Shul, have you ever experienced deja vu? 
When I was young, my parents bought a new sofa at Shul's. The salesman was very helpful. He even made sure my dad got payments he could afford. I felt we'd made a friend that day. Well, not too long ago, I bought a bunk bed for my boys at Shul's. The salesman helped me pick the right one and made sure the payments were affordable. That's when I realized I've always had a friend at Shul's. Shul's, everything for your home today. It may look like a credit card, but it's actually a checkbook and credit card all rolled into one. The Guarantee Bank Visa Check Card, accepted at over 15 million locations worldwide, wherever you see a Cirrus, Visa, or Honor logo. Find out more at GuaranteeBankVA.com or any Guarantee Bank location. Buy gas, groceries, transfer funds, get cash, or go for a night on the town. There's no monthly bill, just one detailed monthly statement. Apply for the new Guarantee Bank Visa Check Card, and you're on your way to freedom. ACAC is the casual club. It's not a fashion parade. It's real people just like you having a great experience in a comfortable and supportive environment. Our team at ACAC will guide you through seven personal one-on-one -on -one sessions to ensure that you feel comfortable and confident with your new exercise program. Half an hour, three times a week is all you need. Enjoy the difference that ACAC can make in your life. There's no pressure to join. Simply drop in or give us a call. At ACAC, we change lives. Warning, many people will miss out on bigger refund checks this year just because they didn't know about the IRS's new tax laws. Don't let Uncle Sam keep the extra refund money that's supposed to be yours. Instead, call ProTax. We promise the biggest and fastest refunds allowed by the IRS, guaranteed. Plus, we offer no money paid up front electronic filing services. Attention, those who want the refund money now. Special early tax filing discount. Just say you saw this TV ad and we'll give you $15 off any tax service. Call now. Ryle Hill beside Crutchfield and downtown offices are open. Waynesboro and Stanton, too. If you want your car to pass this daily test, come to a place with a track record of great service, low prices, and nationwide warranties. Come to Meineke. At Meineke, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. You'll always get a lot at Meineke. Come on. Like quality brake service for Meineke's great low price. For the stopping power you need, make sure your next stop is Meineke. At Meineke, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. It's Regis and Kathy Lee. Look who's live. Guess who's dropping in. Ouch! From Mary and Rhoda, the reunion you've been waiting for. It's Mary Tyler Moore and America's crown jewel. Meet the new Miss USA. Plus, Brian McKnight sings. Then later this week, Mariah Carey and Peter Wilson. La Femme. On live. With Regis and Kathy Lee. Monday morning at 10 on NBC 29. Welcome back. On this Friday evening, here's how we're shaping up outside. 38 degrees in Charlottesville, 52% humidity, west winds, the barometer is at 29.85. If you thought it was a little warmer today than it has been, you were right. 45 degrees is the daytime high today, 29 for the low, average 42 and 23. 70 was our record high set back in 1903, and 6 was set just a little while ago in 1996. For the valley, it's 38 degrees also, 62% humidity, a westerly wind, light at 5 miles per hour, and the barometer at 29.83. We'll start off with a quick look at our weather watcher numbers. Generally, 40s were all across the map, and you can see 49 from Gordonsville, almost up to the 5-0 mark. Fork Union, same thing. 47 at Lake Monticello, 40 in Waynesboro, and 44, a pair of them from Stanton to Harrisonburg. A few other numbers in Madison, it was 46 today. Down to Crozet, 47, as well as Dillon, 48 in Troy, and 43 from our friends in Churchville, and 43 at the airport at Weir's Cave in the Shenandoah Valley. Across the country, we have a big storm moving into the west, and pieces of that storm will continue to uh, plague the Rockies with a lot of deep snows and some of the higher elevations. Uh, high pressure in the midsection of the country bodes well for us, because that's what we'll be building in for the weekend. Right now, though, we do still have a little upper-level disturbance just to the northwest of us. This low pressure is part of a, a, a series of lows that have been crossing the area in the last day or so. And we're going to continue to see the threat of a snow shower tonight from this storm. It's not really a storm, folks. It's more of a, a little low-pressure area in the upper atmosphere, scaring up some snow showers. But this time of year, of course, you always like to keep an eye on that. And you can see the western part of the state picking up some snow activity. Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, actually an inch or two of snow accumulating, and three to six inches of snow back to West Virginia. But again, geography comes into play for Charlottesville, Central Virginia, and for the Central Shenandoah Valley. The snow activity should be quite light tonight, and if you do see some snow showers, it'll probably be an inch or less. So we will not be calling out Storm Team 29 on this one. You'll just need to be aware that there may be an errant snow shower out there 
the heavy stuff remains back to the west of us. And then for the weekend ahead, high pressure builds in. Sky should become mostly sunny. Two things, though, you should know about tomorrow. It will probably be a little windy. There's still a trough of low pressure to the north, high pressure in the south. We're going to get a west-northwest wind, 10, 20 miles per hour. It'll feel cool with the daytime highs only in the 40s tomorrow, but the sunshine uh, should help out a little bit. Valley weather and central Virginia for Sunday. High pressure builds in. Temperatures should be seasonally cool, and it looks like quiet weather will continue into the first part of next week. Here's your forecast for tonight. 28 degrees, cloudy skies, and again a reminder, scattered flurries or snow showers are possible tonight. If any of you do see activity that lasts for more than an hour or so, you may get a quick dusting of some snow, but it should not uh, warrant any, any great concern uh, for us. So just, uh, just a little bit of a reminder there. For tomorrow, 43 degrees on your Saturday, mostly sunny and breezy. Northwest winds 15, 25 miles per hour, so it will feel quite chilly tomorrow despite uh, the mid to lower 40s for the air temperature. Valley weather, same thing, 42 degrees, sunny skies, and a little breezy as well. Here's your five-day forecast looking ahead to the first part of next week, and of course, uh, we certainly don't want to forget the weekend, which is right around the corner, Saturday and Sunday, uh, mid to lower 40s. Overnight lows still quite chilly in the 20s, and it looks like quiet weather for the next part of the week ahead, but I do think on Tuesday uh, the weather forecast might change a bit because there is a, a front coming through Tuesday. Uh -huh. So at this point it doesn't look like it'll do much for us, but we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you very much, Robert. Well, the annual March of Dimes campaign is kicked off in Central Virginia. And the American Red Cross is using Black History Month in a unique way. We'll take a look when Dateline 29 News continues. In ancient Mexico, Aztec princes enjoyed a feisty salsa with every meal. Nowadays, you don't have to be a king to eat like one. Old World Breads at Giant, the spice of life. At Grand, we know decorating a room isn't the easiest thing to do. So we have professional decorators design room sets in the latest styles. And because you buy more, you save more. You can get a sofa, matching love seat, two end tables, and a coffee table for as low as $9.99. And with free delivery and setup, it'll be a snap to decorate your home. Let these savings end Monday, so hurry into Grand today. Grand Home Furnishings, just Grand. Do you wish your skin looked young and healthy again? Ever wondered what to do about that unwanted hair? Come to the Charlottesville Skin and Laser Center and experience our state-of-the-art technology. Microdermabrasion can treat sun-damaged skin, fine lines, clogged pores, and pigmentation problems. Unwanted hair can be safely and effectively removed with the use of our laser. We also offer medical-grade skin care products designed for skin rejuvenation. Call for a free consultation to discuss treatments that are designed especially for you. The Charlottesville Skin and Laser Center. When your urgent documents and packages must be there overnight, Mailboxes Etc. now offers two alternatives. Mailboxes Etc. with UPS and now the full range of Federal Express services, domestic and international. To celebrate, we're offering $2 off all air shipments this month. So hurry into either of our two locations to take advantage of this great offer. Two convenient locations, two great carriers, $2 off. Mailboxes Etc. your one-stop source for all your shipping needs. means something. That's what Jiffy Lube Signature Service is all about. We put our name on the line every single day. It's our guarantee we did the job right. Jiffy Lube Signature Service. More than an oil change. And we offer quality Pennzoil and Quaker State products. Visit Jiffy Lube locations at Route 29 or Pantop Shopping Center in Charlottesville and Greenville Avenue in Stanton. In Greek mythology, Athena planted the first olive tree in Athens to win the approval of its citizens. So you need to impress a few dinner guests. We suggest Kalamata olive bread. Old world bread's at giant. It's no myth. Planning for the 30th annual March of Dimes walk is already underway. The March of Dimes works to fight birth defects and infant mortality. And organizers kicked off the Charlottesville Albemarle Area 2000 campaign this morning. Team captains from 85 companies received all of the materials they'll need for this year's walk. Those team walkers in turn go to their churches, to their civic groups, to their co-workers and get sponsorships for making the 7.5 mile walk. And when it's all done and said, we will have raised, our hope is, our goal is this year, $96,000 uh, with the walk that goes to research and education. 
all of the money raised through local walks stays in the participating localities. A $100,000 grant was given today to Dr. Gary Kupfer for research at the University of Virginia Medical Center. The Red Cross is using Black History Month as a chance to promote awareness about blood donations. Today, they hosted a blood drive at the University of Virginia to educate students about a growing need for African-American blood donors. As you may or may not know, the dominant blood type for African-Americans is R, O, and B. And which blood types do you think hospitals request most? O and B. And so it's uh, important that we uh, yeah, emphasize that and also important that African Americans know that they have a particular role as well as other minorities in replenishing our community blood supply. For more information on minority donations, call the number on your screen, 804-295-LIFE. Well, coming up next in sports, yesterday we heard from Virginia coach George Welsh about his recruiting efforts. Today we're going to find out about how the Hokies have fared. Plus, the United States is engaged in Davis Cup tennis action in Zimbabwe. John Havey has the highlights. Right in front of the client, he blurts out, I forgot. My pink Angora sweater. All I did was toss it in with the leftover tuna casserole. Uh, let's whip up some of those yummy galvanized nails. Just ship them out overnight along with 77 little stink bugs in a sock. Nobody knows the way people talk around here better than U.S. Cellular. And nobody can put you in a better calling plan. U.S. Cellular. The way people talk around here. A 12-state great rate. No roaming or long distance. Nobody can sell you a new Chevrolet or Oldsmobile for less than Jim Price. Jim Price wants to start something with rebate, discount, and finance savings. Up to $5,000 plus a $500 GM owner loyalty rebate. And financing as low as 2.9%. Get brand new 2000 Chevy S10 pickups as low as $11,988. Jim Price says we'll be there with hundreds of Silverado and S10 pickups. Chevy Tahoe, Suburban, Astro and Venture Van. And now, Oldsmobile, Bravada, and Silhouette. That's Jim Price Chevrolet Old, Route 29 North next to Walmart, where the price is always right. So, how's the food here? Great, Mom. Pizza every day. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, it's not what you had in college, Mom. It's Papa John's. But you need variety. Variety? That's Papa's choice. You get five toppings for $9.99. What about your veggies? Their veggies are great, especially the fresh baby portobello mushrooms. Order Papa's Choice, a large pizza with your choice of five toppings for a meager $9.99. I'm living better than I ever did at home. I wouldn't say that. You gotta go away, you wanna go, do what you want to do. There's a better place for business, the network place. Sharp can take you there. People are connected, knowledge is shared, and Sharp's advanced digital document systems, the Imager series, speed the flow of ideas through the network, creating impressive documents and raising productivity to its peak. You gotta go away, you wanna go, do what you want to do. The network place. Sharp can take you there. It's the end of an era sale at New York Carpet World. Up to 50% off carpet, 50% off pad, plus no payments and no interest till 2001. It's the end of an era sale at New York Carpet World. When severe weather hits, Storm Team 29 is there. We'll have live reports, up-to-the-minute weather forecasts, and all your area school and church closings. It's sunrise, noon, 5, 6, and 11, and any time on the World Wide Web, we have the information you need to know, so get connected with Storm Team 29. It's time for sports now. We're joined by John Havey. Yeah, UVA women in action. In action and still tearing up the courts. They're, they're, they're playing really well lately, and, uh, well, I know Debbie Ryan's hoping that stuff certainly continues. Now, when Debbie Ryan's Virginia women's basketball team started the season 4-4, four and four, the voters in the AP and the coaches' polls pretty much gave up on the Cavs, dropping them out of both sets of rankings, the first time that had happened since way back in January of 1984. But since that time, the Hoos have been one of the hottest teams in the country, winning 13 of their last 14 balls games, including three against top ten opponents, and they got a win last night that proved just what they were made of. UVA trailed Georgia Tech by a point in the last five seconds when Svetlana Volnaya grabbed an offensive rebound and was fouled, sending her to the line where she calmly drained both of her attempts, and then the Cavs' D, they didn't allow the Yellow Jackets to even get off a shot before time ran out. So with the 66-65 victory, Virginia improved to 17-5 and overall, 9-1 and in the ACC, and while the Cavs are ranked 24th right now, they're heading upwards in a hurry. Now, speaking of hoops, 
Let's check out the finish between Austin P and Eastern Illinois last night. One second left in the game. Eastern Illinois up two. Austin P's Mike Head, the baseball pass to Trenton Hassel for three, and it's good. It actually went in before the buzzer. And you know what? I think Austin P is pretty excited about this win. Austin P downs Eastern Illinois with a three-pointer at the buzzer. 70 to 69 was the final. Now, after their exhilarating run at the national championship this past season, Virginia Tech football coaches had to join every other program in the country in the annual hunt for new talent. But the proce process was probably easier than ever before for Frank Beamer and his staff, considering all the national exposure the Hokies got in 1999. Now, when the signing period opened on Wednesday, Tech received commitments from 17 high school students, and according to Beamer, this new class might be one of their best ever. I think it's a good recruiting class. I think uh, got some different positions, um, but uh, I think all but two have already qualified. Uh, it's a uh, very athletic class, and uh, I think, you know, in four years, five years from now, we'll say, hey, this is another really good recruiting class at Virginia Tech. Now to tennis with the U.S. and Zimbabwe involved in a first-round Davis Cup match, and Zimbabweans apparently take their tennis pretty seriously in singles today. U.S. got off to a winning start behind the play of world number one Andre Agassi. He needed just the minimum three sets to beat a Wayne Black 7-4, 6-3, And there's the U.S. coach, John McEnroe, pretty happy about the win, but what he wasn't happy about, Wayne's brother Byron Black even things up with a win over Chris Woodruff in the second singles match, 7-6-6-3-6-2. The best of five competition will continue tomorrow. Now, the last couple of weeks have seen a number of postponements of high school basketball games, but it looks like there's going to be hoops action all over Central Virginia tonight. Here's a couple big plays from the past week to get you ready. Gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. store around the corner the boys say they want some gin and juice but i really don't wanna be a buzz like i had last week i must stay deep because talk is cheap i like angela pamela sandra and rita and as i continue you know they're getting sweeter so what can i do a really bad i'll tell you what it should be a lot of fun i think we've got action from five games around uh, central virginia tonight so tune in at 11. sounds good thanks john okay. we'll be right back Good evening. Let's give away a prize now for Sweepstakes 2000. I've got a really nice bonus prize to give away. This is for a $100 gift certificate at Colonial Mall in Stanton. So let's see who our winner is tonight. Reach down in deep. Our winner is uh, Donald Rose in Gordonsville. Donald Rose in Gordonsville. you got $100 to spend at the Stanton Colonial Mall. You need to call and claim your prize. 220-2900 is the phone number. Donald Rose in Gordonsville is our winner tonight. I'll be back on Monday with more prize drawings beginning at 10.58. Everywhere I go in America, everywhere I've gone on this fantastic journey so far, people walk up to me with pictures of their children and say, Governor, I want my child to look at the White House and to be proud of what he or she sees. I believe it's important for America to have confidence in their leadership. I think it's really important for moms and dads to be able to point to the White House and say, that person has brought honor and dignity to the office. Tonight, money, it's the name of the game. 138 million watch each week. Why? The truth about the new game shows. NBC Nightly News tonight. When you walk through the door, you will know we are different. You will see it in the clean lines and thoughtful designs of our furniture. There is nothing else like it in Charlottesville. You will be so happy when you realize that a living room chair can cost less than the price of 10 CDs. We're not like any other furniture store. You can find good style in Charlottesville, and you can afford it at a place called Under the Roof at 1017 West Main Street. NBC Friday begins with the first of four all-new episodes of Providence. If you're not busy tonight. And the final step that leads to a wedding. Then on an all-new dateline, ten young children abandoned by their mother. 
Could these siblings find a way to stay a family? An amazing story of sacrifice. And how far would wives go to get their husbands out of jail? Using sex to influence the justice system. Angie Everhart guest stars on an all-new Law & Order Special Victims Unit right after Providence and Dateline, NBC Tonight. Closed captioning for this Dateline 29 newscast is brought to you through a grant from Wolf and Farmer, attorneys concentrating in Social Security disability cases. New tonight at 11, Charlottesville police prepare for the worst. Uh, the notion that a school shooting like the one at Columbine High School in Colorado couldn't happen here has been erased from the minds of many people, and it's a risk Charlottesville police are not willing to take. We'll tell you what they're doing about it tonight at 11. And coming up Monday on Live at 5, the interest rate on some of your credit cards could be going up as a result of this week's quarter percent hike by the Federal Reserve. We'll show you where to find some of the best deals. That's coming up Monday on Live at 5. And where are we going to be seeing basketball tonight, John? Boy, Davies? we got some great games. Charlottesville, the Black Knights are undefeated in Jefferson District play. They're going to be taking on Monticello. Got Western Albemarle taking on Orange. Fluvanna taking on Louisa. Albemarle in Halifax. And then Waynesboro, which is the number two ranked team in the state double-A polls. They're taking on Turner Ashby. So we've got, mm. all, like I said, great games tonight. Also, out at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am, which is golf going on right now. VJ Sang and David Duvall tied for the lead at six under par right now. Okay. Right. All right. And not a bad weekend. Not a bad store. weekend. It's still going to be kind of chilly though. Um, of course, typical February temperatures. Ah. So yeah. mid to lower 40s, a little breezy and a slight chance of some snow flurries tonight. Not everyone will see it and it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Well, enjoy your weekend, everybody. NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw starts now. That's it for this edition of Dateline 29 News. Thanks for watching. It's official. It's the best job market in 30 years. Tonight, what some companies will even give away to find the right people. The McCain freight train gaining steam. How George W. Bush is trying to knock it off track. In depth, what draws an astounding 130 million Americans a week? Final answer, quiz shows how this phenomenon is changing family life. And our series, Beating the Clock, The Science of Aging. Tonight, how dangerous poison and pinpoint lasers are turning back time. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Substituting tonight, Brian Williams. Good evening. Today we receive confirmation of what a lot of Americans already know. Basically, everyone who wants a job has one. Just 4% unemployment. That's a 30-year low, about as low as it gets. But this gets better. Companies are so anxious for new workers.